In the fashion world, the art of illusion is a multi-billion dollar industry, luring buyers through the catwalks of Paris, New York and Milan. But far away from the world's fashion powerhouses, young women from Cambodia's garment factories are taking a rare opportunity to step onto the opposite end of the production line, expressing their creative visions in the I Am Precious dress design and song competition. In a practice session, contestants are learning to strut their stuff. In a big night, they'll be modelling dresses designed by co-workers from garment factories across Phnom Penh. And though the competition may not be on the scale of those hosted by the world's biggest fashion labels, it has huge significance for these young women trying to lift themselves and their families out of poverty. Like Peng Sri Paws, a garment worker at Maxlin Factory. It may look idyllic, but in Cambodia's rural provinces, the reality for young people is that opportunities are almost entirely limited to backbreaking forms of agriculture in a society where families are tight knit and devoted to supporting one another. So, in the past 10 years, thousands of young Cambodian women have left their families in the countryside to pursue opportunities in the nation's capital often sacrificing their studies and social networks, it is a daunting journey to an unknown and overwhelming city. But not all of Cambodia's garment workers are women. Ru Kromstrian has just returned to work from half-paid maternity leave. During the pregnancy, her husband Sarat continued working in a garment factory and also found the time to compose a song for the competition. <laughs> ຈາມເມື່ອຊິອາລາຍມັນກໍຊອນແມ່ນນະ <laughs> 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 
chặt tiệt cột ở đâu ai cũng mặn bàn thành chứng ti phân nữ nhom năng hơi đầy rồi kết cù bị cầm cua xa Thuyết Srenit felt she had no choice but to quit her studies in order to support her struggling family. ໃນມືບໍ່ໃນຊ່ວຍລູກດໍມາອາຕາມບໍ່ອັດບໍ່ອັດອ້າຍເພິ່ນວ່າເຈົ້າປູ່ປຽກໂຄບແບບຢ່